Y'all want to take this to the next level? Yeah. Y'all sure you want to take this to the next level? Yeah. Cleveland, y'all want to take this to the next level? Yeah. All right, everybody get naked. Come on. I'm joking. Don't get naked, please. So, we're going to do a good old-fashioned, good old-fashioned sing-along. Y'all can handle that? All right, so I'm going to tell you another story. You want to hear another story? So I have this Shakespearean obsession with words, right? And I know exactly when it all began, right? When I was young, in primary school, I don't know how old it was, but I was pretty young. And uh, in Toronto, they have this channel called City TV. It's like our local channel, but it's not public access. It's more, more um, funded than that, right? And they show a lot of stuff on there. And at, sometimes late at night, after hours, after hours for a young child, I guess, like past eight o'clock, I guess, right? They have adult movies, right? Not the adult adult movies, but the uh, movies that were more adult than for children, right? And I found myself in my basement one day watching one of these movies, and the movie that was on was called Do the Right Thing, right? Anybody know Do the Right Thing? It's a cult classic, yeah. He knows it in the back. It's a cult classic. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I'm sure you can find it online somewhere, right? So there's a scene in the movie with this character named Radio Rahim, right? Rest in peace, Radio Rahim. He goes into a convenience store. He's walking around town with this boom box. You guys know the boom box is right. Walks around town with a boom box and he boom box dies, so he needs batteries, right? So he goes to the store and he asks for eight double D batteries. Sorry, sorry, not double D batteries. <laughs> Just the D batteries, right? <laughs> double D is like the really big ones, right? Sorry. <laughs> My, I said everybody get naked and my mind is one that got it. Is. Eight D batteries, right? But the convenience store owner doesn't want to sell him these batteries because it's all he has left on his shelf. So they get into a verbal altercation, they go back and forth. And there's this one moment, this is probably the most iconic moment of the movie for me as a child, right? So he says to the convenience store, he says, I want eight D mother effing batteries, right? Instead of saying mother effing, at the time, I don't know if this is a Toronto thing, I don't know if this is an old school thing, but instead of beeping it out, or blanking it out, they would overdub it, right? And he says, I, instead of saying mother effing, he says, I want 8D Mickey Ficky batteries. <laughs> so, I didn't know what mother effing meant at the time. I didn't know what Mickey Ficky meant at the time. <laughs> What I did know was the next day at school, I would be calling everybody a Mickey Ficky. Right? So the next day I go to school, I was like, you're a Mickey Ficky, you're a Mickey Ficky, you're a Mickey Ficky. Teacher says to me, you failed your spelling test. I'm like, you're a Mickey Ficky. And at that moment, my Shakespearean fondness for words began. And it, it, fast forward to the future, it, it, it matured a little bit, right? Not too long ago, I was sleeping. And this word came into my head. I was dreaming. This word just popped into my head. The word is goldenness. It's spelled G-O-L-D-E-N-O-U-S. Goldenness. Okay, I want you all to say that with me. We're going to count to three. And we're all going to say goldenness. And I'm going to take you all the way out of your comfort zone, right? We're all going to stand up. Okay, can we handle that? Yeah. All right, so one, two, three. Goldenness. Stay standing. Don't sit down. If you're able to stand up, please stand up. What it means is, you're in a moment and you're watching yourself create a memory that you know you're gonna have for the rest of your life. It's a goal in this moment because you're gonna take that moment to your dying day because it's so precious to you, right? I wanna get a word in the dictionary one day so everybody help me out. Hashtag goldenness, use it as much as you can, okay? Help me get a word in the dictionary. So we're gonna do a sing-along and it goes like this. It's, it's very simple, it goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, not six. Six will never come, just one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're all gonna do it together. Let's go, we're gonna practice. All right, here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, 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 o
sounds a bit more. Who's brave enough to come on stage? No, 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 no I'm not going to take you in, though. So, here we go. The first time we do it, all I can ask is that you just try your best. The second time we do it, give a little bit more, sit above your breath. And the third and final times we do it, just give it all until you've got nothing left. Grab somebody close that you care about, hold them close, ask for permission first. This is a safe space. All right. So this is Goldness by Eye and Beachland Gospel Choir. Let's do it. Thank you. 
yourself a round of applause, y'all sound beautiful. So you're free to stay standing, you're free to sit if you want to sit down. I know you guys want to sit down, so I'm just saying.